If you love a little retail therapy, these are the very best things that you can buy on board your cruise. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, when I'm on board a cruise, I have to admit, I do like a little bit of retail therapy. I like to shop a little bit and it appears that I'm not alone. I recently asked in the Lifewell Cruise community, what are the best things that you buy on board a cruise ship? I got some amazing answers. And as much as a lot of these are good deals, the reasons behind many of these purchases were more meaningful than I had imagined. Now in this video, I'm gonna share the top 10 things that people buy and collect when they are on board a cruise ship. And I would love to hear from you. So please let me know the things that you might buy when you're on a cruise ship as well. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Oh, and by the way, these are not really in any particular order except for the last couple because I did save the ones that were most commonly mentioned for the end. Number one, playing cards. Yes, people buy playing cards on a cruise ship. And some people said they buy them when they're in port as well. But I loved the reason for this. When they get home and they play cards with maybe their friends or their husband or their children, well, what they do is they have a chance to reminisce about the cruise, about the ports they went to, look at the pictures that are on the playing cards. I thought that that was an amazing idea and I may just buy playing cards the next time I'm on a cruise. Number two, the $10 shawls. Now I have to admit, I have bought a $10 shawl or two before. I've even bought cover-ups, I've bought scarves. I definitely think that these are one of the very best deals on a cruise. Sometimes you can even get six items for $50. So if you are cruising with a friend, there are definitely some good deals. Now beyond the shawls, oftentimes as part of that $10 sale, you'll also find evening bags. Some people said that they bought an evening bag if they did forget theirs at home. So that is something useful as well. Number three, cruise ship t-shirts. Now I have to tell you, my husband is a sucker for cruise ship t-shirts. Yes, he does like to buy a t-shirt or two when we are on board a cruise ship. My son does enjoy that as well. Now, some people said beyond the t-shirt, they also bought hoodies or sweatshirts. And the good thing about buying one of the cruise ship logo sweatshirts is if the evening does get a little bit cool, then you have something to put on. Some people said that while they were in Alaska, they brought a sweatshirt and this way they could actually use it during the trip. They could fly home with it as well so they could be cozy on the airplane. And for those of you that live in the cool weather climates, it is a great sweatshirt to have at home and to think about being happy and warm on a cruise. Number four, perfume. Now something to remember about a cruise ship is that all of the shops are actually duty free. So a lot of people say that when they buy perfume on the cruise ship, it is a little bit less expensive than buying it at home at their department store. And at the same time, if they have onboard credits, it's a good way to use them. Now beyond perfume, some people said that they love to get their cosmetics on a cruise. And one of the things that I really liked that somebody had mentioned, great idea, is they said they do buy a new perfume, a new scent for every cruise. And this way they do have it for the next few months or even the next year. And it's a great memory of that cruise. Number five, cruise line mugs. Now there are people that have mug collections. So they like to buy a cruise ship mug and add it to their collection, or they might just be coffee drinkers like me and really appreciate having a cup of coffee in their favorite cruise line mug. And other people said they like to buy travel mugs while they are on a cruise. Now I have to say, on my recent Holland America cruise, I bought a thermal mug at the little coffee shop and I did use it during my Alaska cruise. And now when I do leave my house and I want to bring coffee with me in the car, I do actually use my Holland America mug and I love thinking back to that cruise. Now, by the way, another very popular one that is similar to mugs is shot glasses. So yes, a lot of people collect shot glasses. I don't think they only collect shot glasses that are cruise ship shot glasses, but in the ports and probably other shot glasses as well. Number six, now this is a really popular one among cruisers and it is the replicas or the ship models of these specific cruise ships. There are people that collect these and they have a dozen 
or more of these cruise ships. Please let me know if you've ever wanted to collect cruise ship models, or if you do, please let me know down in the comments below. Number seven, jewelry. Now, of course, jewelry is very meaningful, so why not buy it on a cruise ship? And at the same time, there are often some pretty good deals I found on a cruise ship. Now, when it came to jewelry purchases, there are people that are really purchasing fine jewelry like gold and diamonds and different gemstones, including tanzanite. That, of course, is a very big one for cruisers. And there are other people that are purchasing gorgeous costume jewelry. There is really a wide selection in the shops on a cruise. There are other people that love the inch of gold. That is really fun for souvenirs, especially if you're with kids, grandkids, for yourself, even for besties. There are a lot of great things and it is a pretty good price for the inch of gold. And as well, of course, there are the charm bracelets and that is a lot of fun. Number eight, luxury handbags. Now, if you've cruised over the last few months to a year, then you probably have noticed that cruise ships are not only selling designer handbags, but they've started to sell luxury handbags. Now, most of the time, at least the cruise ships that I've been on, they've really been selling those vintage or pre-loved handbags. They have been in very good condition, but there are people that are definitely buying them. Now, they are a little bit pricey, but many people say that they have found a good deal. They absolutely loved it and they just couldn't walk away. Okay, we have the two most popular ones and then I do have some honorable mentions. Number nine, magnets. Those are so popular and honestly, I have a really great tip that I did read about. So magnets that are either the cruise line private island magnets, the cruise port magnets, or of course the cruise ship. And what some people do is they actually use the magnets in their cabin to basically put up different notes, maybe shore excursion tickets. So really to be functional on the cruise ship cabin wall, but as well, of course, they do bring them home where they could either have them on their fridge or they have a little collection. And that is a lot of fun and a great memory. Number 10, this is definitely the most popular thing that people say that they are buying on a cruise ship these are Christmas ornaments. And in particular, there are a lot of different Christmas ornaments that people buy while they're on vacation. So it could be the cruise ports, it could be different things that are on the cruise ship. But in particular, the most popular item is the Christmas ornament cruise ship. Yes, a lot of people love to be able to buy this and then of course decorate their Christmas tree at the holidays. Now I do have a little bit of a tip. What some people say they do is they actually take their cruise card, they punch a little hole in it and they make that into an ornament. And other people take the medallions from Princess and they make that into an ornament as well. Now, of course, these are not the only things that people buy in a cruise ship. So I do have a few honorable mentions. So there is liquor, of course, the duty-free shop on the cruise ship does have duty-free liquor. So a fair amount of people do buy the liquor and then bring it home from the cruise. Now remember, you cannot drink that liquor or that alcohol on the cruise ship, so you do have to wait until the end of the cruise to get it. Now there's also cruise line stuffies. So there are a few different cruise lines that do have a little bit of a mascot. So for instance, Princess does have Stanley and they've got some really cute stuffies. So there are a lot of people that buy those and then bring them home. There are people who go to the candy shop and they buy a little bag of candy and then every day on the cruise, they can eat a little bit of candy in their cabin or even bring it around on the cruise ship. And of course it could be a fun treat to bring some candy home for the grandkids. Smashed pennies. Now this is not something that I've ever bought, but I do think I recall seeing this on a cruise ship in the past. I think it was on a Norwegian cruise ship, but some people said that they do like to bring smashed pennies home from the cruise ship or the port. If you've ever seen this, please do let me know. And of course, other forms of cruise line merchandise. So it could be baseball caps, it could be weekender bags. I have to say, I did buy a weekender bag a few years ago when I had really bought a few too many souvenirs and we were driving anyway. And a very nice one, St. Jude t-shirts. This is basically a charitable event that does happen on, I believe it is on carnival cruises. There are other charitable events that happen on other cruise lines as well. But when you do give a donation, you do usually get a t-shirt. So that is something that people bring home at the end of the cruise. Now, also as an honorable mention, you can take a glass blowing class on certain celebrity ships and you can make your very own vase, bring it home and fill it with fresh flowers. Now, I'd really like to hear from you. Do you buy any of these things or are there other things that you buy and collect from a cruise? Please do let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big 
thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.